the skate park is here. After waiting patiently over many months, Friday the 14th of September 2018 saw the official opening of the new OCM skate park on Cleves Road, Camelford at 5pm. Kirsty Ferguson, the Mayor of Camelford, declared the park open much to the delight and excitement of the numerous young people and adults who turned up to witness this occasion which has already okay, proved so popular. Got that right in, in my face. Is it not it, good? It, you got that, that, that's right, 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 right. right. You the sun is... Do you want to turn it round? I can't, I can't see a thing. No, yeah, okay, that, right, right. We're just going to turn the kids round because we've got sunshine this afternoon. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. A marquee staffed by young volunteers selling raffle tickets with the many prizes on display. The old Cornish ice cream van was on hand as well as the Alice in Burgerland burger van bar. Quietly in the background, overseeing the proceedings, was Camelford's council groundsman, John Gill. The mayor had a go on a scooter, much to the amusement of the happy young people and spectating parents. This is Camelford.org at the new skate park here in Camelford, and with me is Mayor Kirsty Ferguson. That's right. How are you? I'm well. It's been a brilliant day today. Oh, it's been fantastic. And I think everybody's been really willing for the uh, opening to come along so that they can meet the experts who've come from Mount Hawk today and, and everybody all get together and just celebrate what a wonderful achievement this is for the town. It really is. I've never seen so many people in one place. Tell me, has this cost a lot? It has. Um, we've been fortunate, uh, fortunate enough in getting some funding. So, um, CETA Cornwall Trust, we won a grant from them for 35,000. Uh, Camelford Town Council have put in 30,000. And Ocean Housing from the, the new site on the old primary school site have donated 48,000 from 106 money. So, in the region of about 115,000. Wow. Many of the children are wearing t-shirts and hats with a logo on it. What was that I mean? Okay, so we decided that as um, part of the town, we wanted the children to have an ownership, really, of the skate park. So we asked for volunteers to come forward, children, parents, grandparents, um, you know, shop owners, staff alike, uh, to join OCM, which stands for the Old Cattle Market, which obviously we are on this site. Um, we've had a logo designed and they've um, had t-shirts um, and baseball caps printed and they are the committee members um, of OCM, which is brilliant. So uh, Rob Rochel, Cornwall County Councillor, also Town Councillor for Comfort, he donated £500 from his community chest in order for us to purchase those. I think that's incredible. Are, are, are those children going to be allowed to buy them? Uh, we're hoping to get some more. But we just got uh, an, what we could get for that lump sum of money to start with for the launch, mm -hmm. and then obviously merchandise will be, become available. 
Okay, so the children are having a wonderful time and the adults are enjoying watching this spectacle. They are, and absolutely. They're all taking part. We're going to be starting competition shortly. So I think there's adults and children, girls and boys alike, of all ages taking part, scooters, BMXs and skateboards. We look forward to seeing that. Yeah. Thank you, Kirsty. Thank you. I've managed to get myself a hat with the logo and with me is Claire Hewlett. What's your job in the Camelford? I'm chair of the Play Spaces Working Party. Oh, and I'm deputy mayor. Oh, really? Deputy mayor as well? Uh, yeah. But chair of the play area? Yeah. So I think that's an exciting thing to do. It's great. I mean, we've, we're lucky to have some money to invest in this. Uh, so this is just phase one. There's two other phases to come up on the skate park. And then we've got the um, stuff down in the park to do as well. We are refreshing all the play area down there as well. Excellent. Do you think the kids have had a good time today? Oh, they look as though they're having a good time. <laughs> yeah. no, just look at them. I mean, wow, what a turnout. It's fantastic. And we've got Mountain Hawk here as well, and it's just brilliant. What's going to be phase two? Um, I think phase two is in that area over there, there's going to be a basketball court which is wheelchair accessible. And then this area along here, we're going to have a cafe and possibly a little shop where you can buy spare wheels and whatever else it is you need for your skate park, skateboard or your scooter. And who's organising all this? Oh, town Council. The Town Council? Excellent. Well, good luck with the future. Thank you very much. And we'll see them when it comes. With me now is Connor and Harvey who've spent a good portion of this evening going up and down on the skateboard and doing amazing actions. So I'm going to talk to them. What do you think of our new skate park? Uh, yeah, it's really good. It's uh, good for like all ages and stuff. And then like when it, even when it's crowded, it seems to be okay and no one seems to ruin anything. Are you used to work, uh, playing on skateboards? Yeah, I've been doing it for ages, for like loads, really long. What about you, Harvey? Yeah, like, as Connor said, it's like good when it's busy as well because it shows like how good you are and everything. But it's just annoying when people get in the way. But I guess that's it, to be honest. <laughs> I got a little bit concerned when I watched you earlier as you went sideways over those railings. Uh, yeah, it's just practice, to be honest. But we have our ups and downs. But I think we'll be all right on there. It's always a you risk. Ha you have come off. Uh, yeah, all yeah. the time. It's some yeah. You know, sometimes it's bad. And sometimes it's it just, oh, it's not too bad. Every time I fall off, just want to do it more. Just yeah, it's just, it just makes you more ambitious to do something. Do you wear protective clothing? Uh, nah, not no. really. <laughs> nah, not really. Shouldn't you? Uh, to be honest, yeah, but yeah, I don't wear it. It just doesn't look nice, to be honest. Nah. Right, thank you for talking to us. We're going to let them go back now and do more of their stunts. Okay, hold it. Right, with me now is 11-year-old Maddie, who's here enthusiastically skating on the, on the skate park and wearing an OCM, Camelford OCM skate park. I've got the hat, Maddie's got the t-shirt. Maddie, have you enjoyed yourself today? Yeah. Isn't that it? I've enjoyed it really, really loads. I've never, I'd never done it before, but then I started and I loved it. Really? Yeah. You're doing it on a scooter? Yeah, I've, I got it um, on the day it opened, because um, it's been open for a trial and now they've opened yeah. it officially. Yeah? Are you enjoying this? Very, very much. Really? Yes. Okay, well, what's number six for? That's what number I am in the competition. A competition? Yeah. What, that's taking place now? Yeah, in the scooter category. So what are you going to be doing? Um, we have 40 seconds to go up and down the ramps. 
and do what we want and then we get judged. And do you think you'll do well? I'm not sure. Well, You're not on. sure? No. Okay, well, Maddie, thank you very much for talking yeah, and we'll see you soon. Thank you. One more okay, there goes Maddie.